about a religion. It's not about somebody's of, of, of system. It's about knowing that God is God. Amen. Somebody say, God is God. God, is God. He is the Lord. Child, it's only the fool that says in the heart that ain't no God. It's only the fool that want to believe that it's all just luck and it's all just coincidence. It all going my way because of my skills. I, the devil is a lie. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. There was a man that had to understand it the hard way. But he had to learn it the hard way. I give God praise. Because you know why? Because he's still God on any given day. Tbl, he's God on the good days and he's God on the bad days. Feel God. He's God when I'm feeling good and he's God when I'm feeling not so good. He's God when I have pain and he's God when I don't have any pain. He's God when I have money and he's God when I don't have any money. He's God when people are talking about me and when people don't like me and people can't get along with me. He's still God. He's still God when things in the home seem like they're going all around, Dad. Come on, man, you know. And he's still God when it seems like I don't get a break. I wish I had a break. And it seems like he's just still God no matter what the Bible says. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. And if we can settle that in our hearts, we would be okay. If we can settle it in our hearts that he's the same God that was there before the trouble came, then we can understand we can go through the trouble and not get stuck in it. Oh, come on, somebody. I've been teaching for years. He's sharing with us for years to bring your worship, bring your praise. Somebody said, well, it ain't easy because of what I feel. It ain't easy because of what I heard. It ain't easy because of what I've seen. Amen. The Bible says that his ways are easy if we try his way. His yoke and his burden is light. It is when you begin to focus too much on other things that those things become too much. And so we can't praise him. We don't want to open up our mouth. We don't want to say thank you right now. I'll say it later, but I don't want to say thank you right now. Sean, I'm so glad that when God sat on his throne, he said, you know what? I would bless you, but I ain't going to bless you right now. I am so glad when he said, you know what? I would give you another breath to take, but I don't feel like sending you another breath to take. I would let your heart beat one more time, but I'm sorry. I just don't feel like letting your heart beat today. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you. I'm so glad that he's not a man. I am so glad that he's not like us. Because we would give up on us. But God loved us so much that he came and died for us. Because we couldn't help ourselves. When we give up on ourselves, he still yet help us. I wish somebody get stirred up in here. I wish somebody make up their mind and get stirred up. I wish somebody make up in their mind for Jesus I live and for Jesus I die. I wish somebody get a settled because I'm telling you this year is going to be a rocky year. If you ain't got no root in the word, I'm going to tell you that some things are going to influence your mind and move you away from the very rock you believe in. But somebody say, I've got a rock and he is my salvation. Hallelujah. As many, as much, you know, I, I was listening to you, and it's good of all the accolades that he was given about doing the work of the Lord. But when it came down to it, it was what Jesus said before he walked in. Are you hearing me? Because whatever you do, you should do for the Lord. If you're doing it for people, if you're doing it for people, if you're living because of what people say, then that is your God. We don't realize, we don't see it that way, but we're doing the same thing the children of Israel are doing. Are y'all listening to me? Oh, okay, let me, let, me, let me see if I can explain it this way. This is not the word. I just want to exalt you this morning. You see, this is a gift. Are y'all hearing me? This is a gift. But I can take this gift and I can form it and fashion it into the God I want. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I can take this and I can make this a house. I can make this a car. I can make this make me all over again. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the gift and making the gift that God gave me a God. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, what they did was they took the gold and everything with them. The Bible says they took everything. They, they were rich. Three million people taking a whole bunch of gold. They were rich. They had more than four knots today. They were rich. 
But see, when Moses took too long in the mountains, and this is how we are, when God takes too long to answer our prayer, when we don't know what's going on with the man of God or with the church or what's going on here on our life, when we don't hear from God, come on somebody, then the, the, the people get restless, they get bored, they get tired. My mind is not challenged. So what they did, they took the gold and they got Aaron and said, Aaron, come on here and make us a golden calf. Aaron said, I don't have nothing to make. He said, here, take what we got. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. The terrorists are taking the money. They're coming over here and they're taking our money and they're learning and studying how to kill us. That's right, Bishop. Oh, y'all wish That's I had right. a witness Amen. somebody. We, we can take the things of God and we can do bad with it. But if we would worship God more than the things that we have, we would be all right. Amen. Amen. They got impatient. They got tired of waiting. Joshua in the middle, Moses in the mountain, 40 days, and they don't know what's going on with him. So they begin, you know, you have some people in there that say, well, why don't we just do our own thing? <laughs> you know, ain't nothing happening. Come on, somebody. Why don't we just do our own thing because ain't nothing happening. And you know what we started doing? We started dipping here and dipping there. Oh, I got quiet on me. We start dipping here and dipping there. All so quiet. As God don't see us dipping here and dipping there. God knows when his branch moves. When he didn't tell it to move. If you put a plant in a pot, that plant ain't supposed to move unless you move it. Because you put it there. When you come back and you 